What's good, y'all? It's Val, 40K Kid. Yo, I told y'all I was gonna let y'all know about that truck. So, uh, we're gonna go out here and check it out. But, uh, it's been six weeks. Uh, it was a lot of work. A lot of hard work. Um, a lot of thinking. <laughs> a lot of little engineering. Drawing blueprints and stuff. And figuring out. Blah, blah, blah. So, I'm not gonna put all that in the video. But what I am gonna put in is just the progress of the work. I was going to, I was gonna do one long video. But now I've decided I'm gonna split this thing up. So, this is the beginning. I'm gonna show y'all the meager, the meager start of something very beautiful. Like skyscrapers, we going up like elevators. Brand new one. What we got so far? I had them cut the exhaust out. It used to come out. The exhaust used to come out right here. Had them cut it off and rewilled it. We got a whole new exhaust. Going back with all that exhaust. Brand new double pipes, baby. Problem spot. Check this out. This is fucking horrible. Pull out all this bad metal. And replace it. Ooh. Spot of me. to the ground. Yeah, we're good. bad rusty metal. Something you don't want to ever get cut on. section this bad boy and give it a platform tank gas and everything yeah got some work to do all right pretty much based on that horrible scene you just saw on the back um what I ended up having to do is clean all the metal out, get all the bad metal and debris the wound, technically. Um, I didn't film none of that part, but I got it all cleaned out and stuff and made it look a little bit better. And uh, I removed a lot of the rusted bad metal because if you try to keep that shit, it can ruin the new metal. So the goal is clean it out and we're going to put a plate over it and replace the bed of my truck. So we're gonna go to the store and maybe even a couple shots of the great artificer in here. And by the way, the great artificer, artificer is my father. Uh, I'm a third generation tradesman. My grandfather was a tradesman. My dad was a tradesman. I'm a tradesman. So we got three generations of strong black men out here running it. Hell yeah. At the middle supermarket. Get my truck fixed. <laughs>
All right, here at KGS Steel, picking up some more metal for the truck. This is where all the magic happens. Steel, metal, and fire. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But yeah, that's what I do. Big boy. What's up, man? Well, I think it's like day 15 or something like that, man. I don't even know, man. It's, it's been pretty stressful, you know, trying to do the whole independent thing, you know? Like I said, I've been um, I've been a working hand for a long time. Oh, excuse me, not working hand, an artificer for a long time. I went through an apprenticeship, five years, you know? Uh, I love fire and metal. <laughs> I guess I'm like a salamander, but I don't really like a salamander. They okay. Their books are just dull. You know, fucking dull. I don't know, I really like, as far as loyalists go, Blood Angels. Yeah. Blood Angels. I mean, I love werewolves and shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm really heavy into werewolves and full moons and all that shit, but. I, I don't know, something about the Sons of Rust is just, I don't say they're a little too overboard, but they're just cliche. But then again, to say that the Blood Angels aren't cliche, hmm, they're technically vampires, but like super duper swole ass vampires. Get this baby fixed up. We gotta load up. We're about to make some magic happen today. Oh my god. Yeah, I think this is like day 14 or 15. I mean, it's stressful. I quit smoking. And here I am smoking again. But yeah, been here. So, uh, pretty much. With it. Oh, I'm gonna quit smoking again. Well, okay, I would say this much. Um, werewolves and vampires, goddamn. Fire and metal, salamanders. Oh, iron hands. That's the squad, but they just, they don't got a lot of lore, man. So like, I always appreciate it when people have lore. That's it for the first one. I just want to show you guys the problem and the plan. So we got the metal. So we're going to start building next episode. Um, a little bit of welding and, you know, showing some little craft stuff. No trade secrets or nothing, no. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. This is the beginning. This is how it started. I'm going to take y'all through it. Six weeks working on this truck, building a platform. Well, first covering up the fucked up part of the truck. Then building a platform and placing a brand new, beautiful welding machine on top. <laughs> brand new. And then we let them dogs out, claws with the raw snout, brawls with them paws out, bombs and alarms, it look like we playing fallout, got all routes, closed off when we fall out.